spots, you know, mm -hmm. unless you really know what you're doing. I'm not that highly qualified yet. Now, you live here in Northport? Oh, uh, Ralph. Ralph, where's that? It's about 13 miles below Tuscaloosa. 13 miles. Well, that's a good looking Chevelle. Thank Ladies you. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we're at Halsey's Heating and Cooling. Reggie and Cindy Halsey, the great people, let us use the area to film. Uh, the car club here in Northport, they're just great. Fed is good. A lot of good looking cars. I've got a bunch of good looking cars here. But don't go nowhere. I'm just telling you where we're at. we got more cars to come. We'll be right back with Big Boy's Toys. <laughs> Economy Safety Tank, anywhere in Etowah County, Calhoun County, Tony Wood said just about anywhere. Him and his staff, his sons work with him. I tell you what, they do a super job. Septic tanks, digging field lines, anything you can imagine to deal with septic tank, Tony Wood and his staff can do it. So give them a call today, no matter where you're at. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Charter West Mortgage, Highway 231, Pell City, Alabama, are your mortgage specialists in the surrounding area. Lynn Miller and his staff are loan professionals in VA, FHA, and first-time mortgages. They also do second mortgages on your current home loan. They also assist families who have some credit problems, working with them over a few months period of time, trying to help them rebuild their credit so a home can be purchased. So when you find that home of your dreams, call Lynn Miller and his staff today, and they will help you make your dreams come true. Tell him I told you to call, 205-338-5555. Piggly Wiggly, it's a grocery store that you've heard of for years. You know, I've heard of it ever since I was a child. You know, everybody knows Piggly Wiggly. They got stores in Odenville, they got them in Center, Cedar Bluff, and in Collinsville. Hey, the one up Odenville has a cruise in the first Saturday night of every month, to March till October. But visit any of these stores, tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by there. And remember, we'll see you at the Pig. Oxford Jewelry and Pawn Shop, Highway 78, McCullough Drive in Oxford is your musical instrument headquarters for this area. They also have a large selection of handguns and long rifles. They pay top dollar on anything of value at Oxford Julian Pond. They have a large selection of mechanical tools and power tools. They now have same-day jewelry repair on location with the latest addition to their staff, Robert Henson, who is a certified master jeweler. Come by today and let Robert clean or repair your special jewelry. Tell him Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Next vehicle, Bob Olson, 1973 Roadrunner. Welcome to Big Boys Toys. Thank you. Tell me about Thank your car. You. Uh, this is a car I bought over in Marks, Mississippi about four, four and a half, five years ago. And I was looking for a 68 Coronet that the guy had and then the engine was blown up and it was, it was all messed up. And he says, well, i do not interested in that. He said, I've got one over here might be interested in and I keep it housed up and it was this one. So he said, take it out and run it. And he said, don't be afraid of the highway peoples. And, um, so to let it all hang out. So I did, and it, it's scary. So it's all matching numbers. Uh, everything on it is original. Um, what else? Now this about is GTX, it? right? Yes. And uh, this one here, that was uh, one of 749 they made in the Windsor plant in Canada that year, or the last 440 year. So uh, it's been fun, and I've got some more work to do on it. It's so you run a 440? Mm-hmm. Uh, transmission, what kind of transmission? 727. Um, what else? I got, oh, I took the thermal quad off because of their temperamental nature and stuck a Edelbrock on it and it, um, bolted on and run it. So yeah, them thermal quads, they're temperamental, in it, but if you ever get them right, they're awesome. They're, they're, they're really good, but it, I'm not good enough at it, and they say that uh, um, tuning on them is like you say once it's tuned it'll stay that way a while but I guess heat bothers them and all kinds of different stuff messes with the temperament now did you have to redo the interior or anything or no that's um, it had been done just before I bought it and I've been on the undercarriage mostly now all new fuel system and one end to the other and uh, was it harder yeah. talking to out of selling, selling this one in the Coronet or not? No, I was looking for them. I like the body style, but and I didn't realize that the 73 Roadrunner's got this narrowed front end in it, um, which makes it a little narrower, just better body style looking to me. So I thought, okay, I'll take this. He made me a deal I couldn't refuse. And I said, okay. So you drove it back from Mississippi? No, we trailered it because Trailer. I didn't know anything about the if the tires needed help. They were weather checked and stuff. It had sat in a garage for I guess like 12 years with a 
pile of shingles on top of it. So shingles? Yeah. So there's a there's a spot that shows it over on the far side. But is this originally come with the hood pins and all that? Yes, it did. Because there wasn't a lot exactly, of cars come from the factory with the hood pins. That's the way. That's the way this one came. Um, I have this original sales t uh, sticker on it yet, and it shows all those options on it. So they sold it over. It was called Hallmark Chrysler back in '73. I think the owner bought so it. So you actually had the the, the, the sheet work? I still have The original it. sheet? Yes, yeah. And I sandwiched it in plastic to keep it. Now, was he the original owner? or? Yes, he was. And he kept it here. Was It's never left Alabama or Montana. Or Montana. That's where I was from. Yeah. Um, or um, Mississippi. It's been over there once or twice. I'm the, like the fifth owner or sixth owner, I think. Do you go to any of the just strictly Mopar shows, or you just go to all the shows? No, I try to go all of them with our club. We have a good time out there. We uh, make as many as we can, or as many as work and stuff will allow. So, I have a good time. And you're pretty close to the Mississippi line, so y'all can go here, there, y'all can mm -hmm. go just about anywhere to the shows. Yes, we do as many as we can. Now, what color you call that? Uh, it's it's a silver, obviously, but uh, it's, there's on the window sticker. I f forget what it is. It's, um, it's, it's whatever color silver that was that year. It's supposed this is supposed to have that black strobe stripe down the side. Five birds on it. It yeah. went up over the roof, and when I, I put that on after it's repainted. Well, I take it, good looking road runner. Appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right me. back with Big Boys Toys. Cheatwood Hardwood, right here in Heflin, Alabama. Alvin and Peggy Cheatwood owners, and they got over 30 years experience in hardwood flooring. They've been in business over 10 years. They're the best around. They got the Bono Dust Containment System. Ladies, what this means, they can come in and redo your hardwood floors, make them look brand new, no matter how old they are, dust free. I mean, you can shake your curtains and you won't find dust on it. You wouldn't even know there's there hardly unless you open the door for them when they got there. I'll tell you what, they're great. They do great work. They got a showroom up there. It's got all types of flooring, wood flooring, anything you need done. Call them today, Alvin or Peggy. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Ray City Diner and McKeg Motel, Highway 77, exit 168 off 520 in Lincoln, Alabama. Ray City Diner is open 24 hours a day. They have lunch specials each and every day during the week. Meat, vegetables, you cannot beat their prices and their food right there at Ray City Diner. You people that like breakfast, you can order breakfast 24 hours a day, and they'll cook it at Ray City Diner. Right across the street, McKeg Motel. Great rooms at great rates right on the side of the interstate. Call Wanda or Roy McKeg today. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. You know, this day and time, our pets, well, they just like members of our family. So why not give them one-on-one -on -one personal service, personal care from the friendly staff at Greenbrier Animal Clinic on Greenbrier Road here in Anniston. You know, this time of the year, the fleas and the ticks, they're still here. The parasites and the heartworms disease, this is a year-round problem, and they have all the medication to treat this problem for your pets. They have grooming and boarding right here in the clinic. So give them a call today at 237-9585, and make sure you tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Hey everybody, Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys. Let me tell you about a place called Tire Pro. Tire Pro has four locations in the Birmingham area, plus they distribute tires throughout the southeast. Tire Pro has any kind of wheels, any kind of tires that you can imagine to put on your vehicle. They've got it. If you want to go up from the 16s to the 22s, Tire Pro can do it. Also remember, Tire Pro is installing peace of mind. Don't ever forget that. When they put tires on, they want you safe on the roadway, and they'll do anything to make that vehicle safe. Hey, go by and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by and said they install peace of mind. Next vehicle, Roger Massey, 1977 Ford pickup. Welcome to Big Boys Toys, Roger. Here. What's your name, little bit? Say Kelsey Grace. Hey, Kelsey. Okay. She wants to play with that microphone. She ain't studying me. Tell me about the truck. That's a 1977 F100. I bought the truck new and it's been my daily driver for the last 28 years. I've, uh, it's got automatic, power steering, brakes, air, factory air and everything on it. Uh, I've had it repainted on the outside one time, but the inside, the inside of the bed never had been repainted. Brett, you hear that? He drives this truck to work every day. 28 years. 
So you just only thing you've had done is do the outside work. Yep, I just had it painted on the outside, and I changed the wheels and tires on it, and put the uh, factory cook on it, glass window in the back, and slide glass window. But other than that, it's just on the daily drive. She's looking at me like, give me some space. <laughs> I can't move. Huh? <laughs> Look at them eyes. So, how long has it been since you painted it last time? I painted it, uh, it's been painted one time. I painted it three years ago. What size motor now is in there? It's got the 351E on there. 351's a head scoop too. Yeah, it does a pretty good yeah. job. The old truck's got, uh, got 150,000 miles on it now. The only thing I've really ever done to the engine on it, I've done a valve job on it one time. No, the other guy said, well, I go, don't let your wife drive it. I bet your wife wants to drive it, she'll drive it. Oh, yeah. Then she, she, she did some of that cooking. Then she did some of that cooking while we Mm-hmm. I tell you what, the way them women cook, if they want to drive your car, let them drive it. <laughs> Whatever they want to do, let them do it. You getting tired of being on TV? <laughs> she said she's tired of this. She's looking at her grandma now. Uh-huh, Nana. I'm giving you space. I'm standing back over here. <laughs> okay, you want Papa let you down? She wants to go. Okay. Uh-oh, here she goes. Oh. I gotta wait to see which way she goes. Okay. Get her, here comes there Miss America go. down the down aisle. <laughs> Hung you by the smile, because that camera's following you, done got off of us. <laughs> she said, I'm going just fast as I can go. She said, I ain't been walking long. Anything else you want to do with the truck? Or? I've got a little uh, paint work I want to do to it. There's a few places you know I need to touch up on it. But other than that, I'm just going to drive it till I have to. So what you do? Bought it as then. just a, a driver to drive every day oh, at work, yeah. and then when everybody started fixing up the cars, you said, "Hey, I got my truck." Yeah. Because there's a lot of people fixing up trucks. Oh yeah, I've been offered more for the old truck than I give for it new. <laughs> it always works like that. Oh yeah. And the wheels and tires, how long you had them on there? I've had them on there about uh, about eight years, I guess. They come off a 96 model. Your wife wash it real good? No, she's not one on washing cars. She leaves that to me. I'll leave the cooking to her, and I'll take care of washing the cars. Now look at her. She don't want to be on TV, but she wants to go over there and holler at us. <laughs> <laughs> Sits over there. She don't, she don't want to be on TV, but she's going to sit over there and tell us how to do it. You know? There you go. See, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I, I take Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she cooks. I'd wash my own car. That's right. I'll tell you what, this good-looking pickup, I don't see anything. The paint looks gorgeous on it. I'll tell you, you can change the paint. Yeah, that's just a, just a few places on it I need to, need to touch up on. It. It's got around my windshield and stuff. When I had it painted, I didn't pull the windshield out of it. And you can see where it's trying to flake a little bit around the rubber now, so I'm going to repair that. And, uh, It'd be hard to match it, wouldn't it? You'd probably have to paint it. Well, they tell me they can match it, so... As, you know, as good a shape as the paint's in right now, so I'll see. I'd hate to uh, paint the whole truck if they could match it because oh, no. the paint looks good. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to paint the whole truck again. Good looking vehicle. Appreciate you being on the show. Thank you, Barry. We'll be right back with Big Boys Toys. I think we got a red one coming up next. We'll be right back. <laughs> So you want the best deal on a pre-owned automobile? Ron Newton does it again. Announcing the car, truck, and SUV summer sell-off. Record sales has brought in a huge selection of late model trade-ins inspected by Ron Newton himself before they're ever put on the lot. Make an offer on the best selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Ron Newton summer sell-off is only for a limited time at Ron Newton Used Cars. Top of the Hill Quintard, Aniston. Now, Chee Haw Harley Davidson, right here in Oxford, Alabama, Davis Loop Road. They're your Harley Davidson dealer for this area. In my opinion, they're a Harley Davidson dealer all areas. Stop by and see Keith and George today. They have about 40 Harleys on display. Buy a new Harley. They have used Harleys. Clothes, you people like the Harley leather. They got any type of Harley clothing you want. Helmets, you name it, it's right there. All you guys at Harleys want to put that extra chrome on that brand new Harley. They got any type of chrome you could want. Stop by Mount Char Harley Davidson today. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. St. Clair Auto Parts, they're your Napa dealer for this area. They're on 78 right there in Pell City. Open on Sundays from 12 to 5. 
with delivery within a 10 mile radius. Tractors, lawnmowers, boats, cars, doesn't make any difference, they got the parts right there. They make hydraulic hoses right there in the store. Any kind of tools you want, they've got. If they don't have your part, they can get it overnight from Birmingham, Atlanta, or Knoxville. So go by there on Sunday and get a part. Mention Big Boy Stories, get a special discount. Remember, 170 years combined sales experience in that place. Tell them I sent you by. If you want to go out for the evening or fine dining, you can find it right here in downtown Anniston at Classic Old Noble. The atmosphere is set for a quiet dinner for two or a party for 20. They have a lounging area upstairs so you can have a drink with a friend or a business associate. They also have a seating available upstairs in a nice, quiet atmosphere. Classic Old Noble also caters for special events and parties for any amount of people from 2 to 20 to 200. Stop by Classic Old Noble today and tell them Barry Miller sent you by. Next vehicle, 69 Chevelle, Reggie Halsey. Reggie, welcome to Big Boys Toys. Good and Burt Reynolds, I mean... What? Greg Holsey. Greg Holsey. How you spell it? G G R E G. I know that part. Oh, uh, H U L S C Y. <laughs> I know that too. It's all over that truck, right, Johnny? You was looking at that truck, wasn't you? <laughs> Tell the truth. No, I was looking at you. Okay. Tell me about your car. That's 69 Chevelle. It's got a 454 LS6 in it. Richmond 5 speed, 308 gears. Um, had it 14 years. Bought it two weeks before he was born. Took me three years to restore it. Two weeks before he got here? Yeah. So, took you how many years? Three years to restore it. it when you restored it the first time, after 396? Uh, it, it I got the original motor with it, uh, but I put the 454 in keep the 396. So, you still got it? Oh, yeah. A little more horsepower? A little more horsepower. Now, when you restored it, is this the paint that's on it since you, ever since you had it? Uh, it was silk, and I painted that. That's apple red. Red just looks better to me. It looks good on Chevelle's. You see that guy in that 67 leave while ago? Oh, yeah, I see him. You gonna do that when you leave? Nah, I'm going back the other way. Well, he went that way. <laughs> I'm going toward the shop. Oh. I gotta put it back Oh, you're shop. gonna put it in here? Yeah. Well, you can do it right here. You own the property. <laughs> nah, that's all right. Ain't nobody gonna put you in jail. <laughs> so, you really got nothing else to do to it but drive it and have fun with it. Nah, I ain't gonna do nothing else to it. You gonna drive it when you get your license? At least he told the truth. You won't even let you do drive it to school? I ain't gonna drive. To prom? <laughs> <laughs> to your wedding? You ain't gonna get married either? Why'd you pick the 69 Chevelle? I don't know, it's just, I like 69. I like the 70, 66, 67. It's one of my favorites. Really a 69, 68, the ball style's the same. Yeah, it's Chevrolet, I guess, you know, they, they run them two years to see how it's gonna go before they change the body style. Right. Now, the four-speed, is it the original Muncie or is it? No, it's the Richmond five-speed in it now. Five-speed? Yeah. Oh, you got one more gear. I got one more you gear. You can outrun that other Chevelle, you can have a four. Yeah. You got one more gear to change. Yeah, I got one more. Tell you what, good looking Chevelle, appreciate you Thank being you. on the show. Good While you're sitting here, I want to tell you, on behalf of Greg, Chris, Brett, my wife, Lisa, and Big Boys Toys, I want to thank y'all for letting us film. He's the guy that owns the place. His wife's the one that helped cook the food. They give us something to drink, they fed us. They give us a nice, they let us use their power. Of course, I ain't got the bill yet, but we've been doing great. <laughs> and I want to thank y'all for letting us come up again and film. We're glad to have you. Did, did you tell them it was okay with you? See, I had to get his permission too. We'll be right back. We got the last car of the show. You don't want to miss it because he's a, he's a super guy and you don't want to miss this interview. Everybody, Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys. First of all, I want to thank you for watching Big Boys Toys because it's you people watching the show and the sponsors that makes Big Boys Toys. You see the sponsors on this backboard? These sponsors are what bring Big Boys Toys to you each and every week. I mean, if you need anything, carpet, car, painted, whatever, any sponsor on this backboard that you need, give them a call today. Tell them you watch Big Boys Toys, you appreciate them sponsoring the show, and you want to use their services. Also, we're getting our calendar ready for 2006. If you're watching this show, I don't care if you're in Tuscaloosa, Huntsville, Decatur, Coleman, wherever you're at, you've got a car show coming up in 2006, you'd like for us to come in and film at your car show and try to help bring more cars in there, give me a call today, 256-283-4404. And if I don't have something booked that day, I guarantee you we'll try our best to come to your car show. So give me a call today. Thanks for watching. 
Bates Food Mart right on Quintard Avenue, right beside China Luck before you go into Anniston. BP dealer for this area, stop by and see Victor and Danielle Bates today for all of your convenience store needs. They have cigarette specials each and every week, Coke specials, whether it be the 12 pack or the liter, they're always on special at Bates Food Mart. Hey, also you notice he's got just about anything you need in that store, snacks, cold beer, wines, all kinds of wines, specialty wines. Stop by today, see him, tell him Barry Miller from Big Boy's Toys sent you by. Brown's Automotive and Custom Rods right here in Leeds, Alabama. Tell you what, any kind of vehicle you've got that you want restored, he builds custom rods, but if you've got the regular 66 Chevelle, Mustang, whatever, Ron and his staff can bring it back up from, and if it's rusty, whatever, they build it back up and make you a show car, you'll be proud to go anywhere. They also have an automotive section. Shane, his son, runs the automotive section, so you people that's got just tune-ups you need done, brake jobs done, whatever, go by today, tell them Barry Miller from Big Boy's Toys sent you by. Quality Cuts Family Hair Care Centers, 211 South Quintard, right across from Superior Jeep, Anniston, Alabama. They do haircuts, chemical services. Chemical services mean they can, you know, they can do the highlights, they can do the perms, they can do the coloring. They do anything there. They also have waxing, skin care, facials. They do that also. Hey, guess what? Two massage therapists on staff. These are licensed massage therapists right there. So you can get a massage and these people know what they're doing. Stop by and see Rita or one of her staff. Tell her Barry Miller from Big Boy's Toys sent you by. A dream of getting away for the weekend with your family from the hustle and bustle. Turner's Outdoor Center right here in Stemley Bridge Road in Pell City, Alabama has the answer for you. They have a 36-foot SRV starting at just $350 per month. You want something a little smaller? 24-footer starting at $160 per month. This is with no down payment and a super interest rate starting at 7.25%. Great part is no payment for 90 days. They service all of the units right there on their location. Hey, new location opening soon, Emory Crossroads and I-20. So give Billy Turner or one of his sales staff a call today. Tell Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Thirty-four, Jerry Cheatham. Welcome to Big Boys Toys. Tell me about your car, Jerry. Well, I've owned it since 1954. It's the first car me and my wife bought when we was married together. I've owned before well, cars before, and I'm the second owner. And this mostly original except the color. I went to a national meet over in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and I saw a red one pickup truck over there, and I had to paint that thing red. They got an old saying, if it ain't red, it needs paint. Right, all over again. So it's, you've had it how many years now? Since 1954. That is 51 years, because I was born in 55. You got that car before I was here. <laughs> and it's been on the road most of the time up until the, this past well, year. Well, at least he said it's been on the road. I thought he was going to say it looked better than I did, too. <laughs> but, you know, at least he just said it's been on the road. Yeah, so you on. actually drive it all the time. Well, uh, I hadn't driven it since the last show over here, because I've had about six surgeries. I got down in the, this past week and pushed the clutch in for the first time with my knee. Uh-uh. <laughs> Can y'all imagine driving this in the high school? <laughs> Do I have it back? It's, you raised family and all in it. Two boys. Now, which now one? Had, bigger than the yellow shirt. Yeah, Scott in the yellow and striped shirt. And I got a younger son that's in Chicago. And they have rode a many a mile in that rumble seat. What'd they do if it rained? Pull the top, top down over and duck behind the top. Crawl down in the bottom? No, they, well, they'd get down as low as they can, but you couldn't get down all the way. But going fast enough, the rain would go over them from the top. I thought to say, Scott, don't look like you can squeeze in there now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, he couldn't even get in that rubble seat, I don't believe. <laughs> You'd have to melt him and pour him in there, wouldn't you? <laughs> so, you gonna just leave it like it is? Yes. You done with it? It's, well, I re redid it uh, three years ago, repainted it, and uh, it's the old original lacquer. It's about as good as you can get it, you know, without being a show car, and I don't want a show car. You, I want to drive. You want to drive and have fun with right. it. Right. That's what it's made for, to drive. I like the way the old wheels mounted on it, too. It just, that's when cars was cars. It don't have made in China anywhere on it. No, it can't. <laughs> <laughs> What's the furthest you ever drove the car, actually drove it? I guess to uh, Louisville, Mississippi. That's a pretty good little piece. Well, no, I take it back. We went to Rome, Georgia, to a national show over in Rome, Georgia at Berry College. That's up right above my neck of the woods. Is it? Yeah, I'm okay. Up. Well, you gotta go to, you gotta go by my house to get to Rome anyway. Right, close. I guess, because we went through Centerville, not Centerville, but what is it, Center? Center. Center. 
went, went through to, center, hoax bluff, right, and you drove it. You didn't haul it, right. But that's been a number of years ago. Yeah, because Scott was young enough to go with. Me. He yeah. didn't have a job, a steady job then. If Scott was young, it's been many years. <laughs> a few, a few. He like me. Look at his hair. We done quit counting. If he didn't use a little adjust for men, he looked just like I. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's a good looking vehicle. Appreciate you being on the show. Why he's sitting there, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you for watching Big Boys Tours this week. Just about got all. I'm going to get out today. Getting cloudy, so we had a good day, though. Sun shining. Had a great day. I want to thank Hosey Heating and Cooling, Highway 43, Northport, Alabama, and the car club up here. Remember, April the 1st, they got a car show coming up right here in Tuscaloosa. You don't want to miss it. Tell you what, I told him, you know, he called me the other day, I'm already filming on the 8th of April. You'll watch this show before their car show. Uh, I'm already filming on the 8th of April. We already got it booked, but I will be in Tuscaloosa on the 1st of April. I told Jack I'd be here. So I'm going to drive one of my vets, bring some of my buddies from Oxford over. We'll be there, so might have some hats and shirts. You never know. So come to that car show in Tuscaloosa. Come up and find me. I might have a hat or shirt stuck somewhere. You never know. Tell everybody goodbye. Goodbye. We'll see you next time on Big Boy Stories. <laughs>